Okay, guys. So we've been talking about the general anatomy and anatomy of uh, all the books of anatomy. And I told you that Bini Chaurasia, the handbook of general anatomy, is necessary regardless of what big book you are following. This short book you need to know, you need to have, and you need to learn it cover to cover, except for a few extra details that it has. Uh, you have to do every everything else. Okay. And now moving on to the next part. Okay, so now the second branch of anatomy, histology, which is a study of, of tissues using your microscope. So now the very, the best book is uh, Medical Histology by Lai Hussain Siddiqui, and I found it the best. Okay, and the reason why I found it the best is that it is very concise and it has all the necessary details that we need. Uh, although it's not the big book, it's not a very big book, but its, uh, its size is considerable okay so it's still significant and has all the necessary details that we need to know and uh, again this is the book that i am using at dow and it is actually a book which most of the students are using here so yeah you definitely need to buy this book this is very very important then comes junquera's basic histology which is actually a big book and it, it is very detailed very very detailed and only study it if you have you've got lots of time okay if you are left with time or if you are a, a person who uh, who is a big book reader so yes definitely this is a book for you but even if you are a big book reader there's so much of stuff to do in mbbs so many subjects to deal with in mbbs so many books to read in mbbs that you don't actually get the time to finish off Chunkwara. So it's better to stick with Lycosan and get used to Lycosan. But again, buy PDFs of both the books and go through them, read them, and see which book suits you better. And then the third one is Vita's Functional Histology. And uh, to be honest, I didn't use this book, but as far as I've heard it from my friends and peers, they find it good as well. Again, it's a book which has all the necessary details. Now, moving on, this is your Junker, uh, sorry, this is like Hossein Siddiqui's book. This is Viter's Functional Histology, and this is Junquera's Basic Histology. Now, moving on to the next branch of anatomy, that is embryology, which is related to the development of the human being and development of different organs. And the two big books and the, are the following. Well, the big book that I am using is Langman's Medical Embryology. Okay, this is a book that I am using and it is an excellent book having all the necessary details. Uh, although you'll, you'll think it's, it's this size, okay? It's just, uh, the size of a novel and it's a good book. Uh, but again, this second book is also an excellent book by KLM. So both the books are very, very good and you may follow either one of them. But again, first read through the PDFs and then buy the book. Okay, do not buy both of them. Otherwise, it will be a waste of money and you won't be able to read it, both of them. And the review book, the best review book is Shergil's Human Embryology. But the downside of this book is that it has errors in dating the different events. Okay, so yeah, uh, for the dates, just refer to the big books. But the rest of them, they can be done from Shergil's Embryology. And it's a good book, good review book. Well, it does suit me and it does suit most of the people out there. So yeah, this is an amazing book. So this is how it looks like, Shergil's hum, uh, Human Embryology. This is how Langman's look like. But again, these are just cover pages. These cover pages are just examples, okay? You might find uh, the same book with different cover page. So it's no, not a big deal. And this is how KLM looks like, The Developing Human by KLM. And now let's move on to pathology, the study of diseases. And it's a very, very important subject. And it is, of course, um, a major subject in most of the modules. So now, Pathological Basis of Disease by Robbins and Cotron. Uh, this is the Robbins book, the ba Robbins Basis. It's also called Robbins Basis. And this is an, a big book, the big, big pathology book. And it is actually, in fact, very big. It has two volumes, volume one and volume two. And volume one is the volume that you'll be using in during your MBBS first year. And two will most probably be used uh, during the subsequent years but one is required during your uh, first year and again you just uh, this is a book that is used for concept building but is 
very, very extraordinarily detailed. So yeah, um, you need to give time in order to read stuff from basis. But again, we don't need to do everything in basis, just do the stuff that you think is necessary or to just do the stuff that you think, uh, uh, just do the specific topics from basis uh, that you might find um, trouble in. Okay, so uh, Robin's Basis is the book. Okay, there's another book by a similar name. It's Basic, Robin's Basic. And guys, Basic is uh, just a summarized form of basis. So yeah, you can definitely use it, but I didn't use it at all. And this is the second book, the review book. And the best review book out there for pathology, it's Pathoma. Okay, pathoma.com. Fundamentals of Pathology by Hussain A. Sutter. Um, this is um, the professor who wrote this book. He's a professor of pathology in the University of Chicago. And this is literally the best review book that I've come across. And the best thing about this review book is that it even has video lectures with explanation of the stuff, of the content written in this book by the same professor who wrote it. So yes, this definitely needs to be bought. Okay, you must buy Pathoma. And um, you'll get the video lectures in a CD or something, but you definitely, this is an amazing book. And apart from that, uh, it's always better to build your concepts from basis and then uh, give it a review from Pathoma. But whatever is written in Pathoma, you must memorize it. Okay, you must memorize Pathoma cover to cover because it has all the high yielding points in it. And those are actually the points that you'll definitely find on your exams. And I've literally experienced it. And yes, definitely I did find so many high yielding points from that same book on my own exams as well of first year. Okay, now let's move, in, move on. Okay, so this is how Robin's basis looks, looks like. Okay, both the volumes, this is volume one and volume two, but again, this is just one example cover. Uh, you might find different covers, okay? And this is how Pathoma looks like. And again, just the cover is different. Now coming to biochemistry, which is actually a major subject in certain cases and a minor in others, but it's again an important subject. And biochemistry's Lippin course illustrated review of biochemistry is important. Uh, this book is important. Okay, you must buy this book because I did use it and it was a, an amazing book. Okay, and Lippin course illustrated review book. Uh, it covers almost all the chapters, all the topics that uh, that were in the syllabus. And uh, of course, it didn't cover all of them, but it did cover most of them. So yes, you definitely need this book. Harper's Illustrated Biochem, this is an extremely gigantic book with all the details, but along with a lot of other details. So again, I'll just uh, recommend getting the PDF of this book, but do not buy this entire book, okay? Because it's a very, very time consuming and I definitely you won't have this much time. Even if you study day in and day out, uh, you might find time if, if you study day in and day out, but Harper's is literally not a book to, uh, to just mess with, okay? You need to be very serious while studying it. So guys, uh, by the way, even if you, well, um, I personally didn't use Harper at all because it was very, very big, big book. And during your first year, um, almost everything is covered in Lippincott, so you don't need to go on to Harper but you definitely will be needing it later on. Now coming to the third book, Chatterjee, I did buy it, but I didn't read it a lot, but it does have a lot of stuff. And the biggest advantage of Chatterjee is that it is a book with English, easy English, with very basic English. So yeah, definitely you'll do it. It's a, again, an Indian writer and yes, but um, Chatterjee is a very thick book. Okay, and of course you don't need to do the entire book. You just need to do the specific topics for your module or your test or your uh, chapters that you're following. And then finally, Satya Narayan's book. Uh, again, it has an easy English and it's also an Indian writer. And I've got very positive reviews about this book. I didn't read it again, but yes, people say that, yeah, it also has very good English. Easy English, I mean. <laughs> okay, very easy English. Yeah. 
it's a, again an Indian writer. Now coming to the last and final book, Instant Biochemistry by Phi Kamath. It is an excellent book for your foundation module only, okay? Remember, only for building your foundation, not for the rest, not for any other module. And this book is not recommended by not, I mean not recommended by the teachers, okay? Um, uh, not recommended here at Dow. Teachers of Dow do not recommend uh, biochemistry by Fike. Okay, uh, the reason is simple. It's a review book and doesn't have a lot of information. But the stuff that it does have does actually cover everything in foundation. So yeah, you can you can definitely buy it. Okay, so the two books that I'll recommend buying are Lippincott and Instance. Uh, this one, uh, Fike's biochemistry. Uh, Harper, Chatterjee and Satya Narayan. You could just get the PDFs of these three books and you don't need to buy them. I only refer them if you find difficulty in a certain topic and want a bigger picture of it. Okay, otherwise um, Lippincott has almost everything in it. And apart from this, um, the, the lecture slides are important for every topic, every subject. Okay, even for biochemistry, you've got the lecture slides of your professor, they are very, very important because you'll find a lot of stuff on your exam from the lecture slides. And now let's move on to the looking at these books, Lippincott, this is how one of the Lippincott books look like. Uh, well, actually this is just an example. You'll find different covers, okay, of biochem. And this is Harper's biochem, and this is Chatterjee's biochem, and this is Satya Narayan's biochem, the fourth one. Okay, there's brown book, but again, you'll find different cover pages. And Fike, I didn't add Fike's book, but you can find it online. Just type it on Google and you'll get it. And now coming to microbiology, you won't have microbiology in your foundation module, but microbiology is actually more like a branch of pathology. It is a branch of pathology, but microbiology has microorganisms and stuff that you need to study. And the only book that you need to follow is review of microbiology and immunology by Warren Levinson. Okay, Levinson's book is the best book to follow for microbiology. Although its name is review of microbiology, but it is this thick. Okay, and it is a very thick book, but still it is the best book for microbiology. And that's the book recommended by teachers as well. Now coming to then, okay, this is how it looks like. But again, you'll find different covers. Now coming to pharmacology, uh, the study of drugs and um, Lippincott's pharmacology, the red one and Katzen's pharmacology right over here. This is Katzen's pharmacology is the book that, that I am using. And um, this book was actually useful, but people do use Lippincott's pharmacology as well. Uh, well, I would suggest for pharmacology, for pharma, just study Katzen, okay? But again, it, the choice is up to you. Get their PDFs, read through the PDFs, read the same chapter from the two books and see which one has better or which one you like, the uh, which of the two books you like most, okay? And then buy that. And keep the PDF with you, of course, you can refer to it in future. And now coming to community medicine, behavioral science and medicine, for these three subjects, only lecture slides are enough, okay? There are certain books related to these, such as the book, by, book of Medicine by Davidson and Book of Behavioral Science by someone, but um, these aren't very major subjects. Although they do have MCQs on the tests, but again, you can just refer to the lecture slides, learn the lecture slides very nicely, and you'll be done with the MCQs, inshallah. And this actually pretty much sums up everything. Thank you so much. If you still have questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I'll definitely get back to you. Apart from that, guys, in MBBS, uh, you know, consistency is the key. So be more consistent and start from day one. And that's it from my side. Um, see you next time. In the, and wait, 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 wait. Don't go, don't go anywhere. Uh, I was uh, about to tell you that in the next lecture, inshallah, I'll be making a lecture on guidelines of foundation modules. So stay tuned, stick, stick around and don't go anywhere. Thank you so much. And till then, see you and Allah Hafiz.